Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Camtasia Relay to do what's called screencasting. Screencasting is going to allow you to record what's on your computer screen and also your voice so that you can narrate PowerPoints or even Prezi presentations. Basically, if you can put it on your computer screen, you can record over it. So what we're going to do first is install Camtasia Relay. We're going to start by going to camrelay.unl.edu. And Camtasia Relay is provided by the university, so it is free for you to use. Once you get to the site, you're going to use your Blackboard username and password to log in. Once you log in, if you look in the top right hand corner of the screen right here, you'll notice that there's a download button. Click the download button, and it's going to give you the option to either download the Mac OS version the Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7 version, or a mobile version. For this computer, I would normally download the Windows Vista or the Windows 7 version. However, it's already downloaded to this computer, so I'm not going to go through that process. But all you would do is click the link and click either Save or Run. And then you're going to run the installation program. Follow the on-screen dialogues in the installation program, and it'll walk you through the installation. Once you have the program installed, you can run it. When Camtasia Relay opens, this is the main screen. This is what you're going to see first. In order to start recording, for example, a slideshow presentation, the first thing you want to do after opening Camtasia Relay is open your slide point, slideshow presentation. I already have one queued up here. This is a slideshow presentation actually about using Camtasia Relay. Once you have the slideshow presentation ready, begin the show the same way you normally would. Slideshow from the beginning. With Camtasia Relay open, it's automatically going to pop up a box asking you if you want to record the slideshow. So we're going to click Record Show. Camtasia Relay will minimize itself. And from here, you're going to narrate and move through the slideshow the same way you would if you were standing in front of your classroom. No changes. You're going to use the arrow keys to navigate and you're going to talk the same way you normally would. Um, if you've got a built-in microphone, uh, for example with a laptop computer, you'll just talk directly at your computer. If you have a desktop computer with a separate microphone, you'll just talk directly into that microphone. So you can slide through your slideshow and narrate the same way you would if your students were sitting right there in front of you. When you're done with your narration, you will exit out of the slideshow. I did that on this computer by pressing Escape. Camtasia Relay will ask you, would you like to continue to stop recording? And I'm going to say yes. It takes it just a second to finalize the recording, but this is what it's come up with. On this screen, you can preview your Camtasia Relay recording. See how it started playing through the actual presentation there. When you're done and you're satisfied with the presentation, you're going to click Submit. It's going to ask you to select a profile. I suggest everyone go with the default Flash and iPhone profile, as that will output a Flash file or an MP4 file, which is going to have more compatibility than an Adobe Presenter file. We're going to give it a title. And then we're going to click OK. Now what's going to happen here is a little bit different from what you're used to. Rather than the file being saved to your computer, the file is being uploaded to a Camtasia Relay encoding server here at UNL. So what you need to do is let your computer stay on for a few minutes. It may be several minutes depending on the speed of your connection and the size of your video file. During that period of time, Camtasia Relay is going to upload the file to the server. On the server, it's going to be encoded into Flash and into MP4 formats. And when it's finished, you're going to receive an email telling you that your file is done. Now, this could take anywhere from just a couple of minutes to even a couple of hours, depending on the size of your file and the busyness of the server at the time that you submitted it. If, however, it does take more than a few hours, I do suggest calling the help desk um, and seeing if there's a problem.
once you do get notification from uh, via email about the uh, the voucher files being finished encoding, you can click on the link in your email to view the files, or you can open up Camtasia Relay again and click this button in the top right hand corner. If you haven't logged into Camtasia Relay in a while, it may ask you to log in again using your Blackboard username and password, and then you'll be taken to this screen. This is a list of all of the presentations you have submitted. This is the one that we just submitted. As you can see, it's already been processed. And Camtasia Relay Server is actually working on coming up with the flash files and the iPod, iPhone files as we speak. Once those are done, you'll be able to click on them. I can't click on them right now because they're not finished. But once those files are done, you'll be able to click on them. You can download them, you can generate links to them, whatever you need to do to put them on your course website. And that's pretty much it for Camtasia Relay. And as always, if you guys have any questions, you can just shoot me an email, give me a call, whatever you need to do.